Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I want to speak regarding marksmen in general, uh, how you should play with the marksmen, which kind of heroes you want to use on the marks marksman legion, and in general how you will be able to get as much uh, power from marksmen uh, as possible. I, I have been maining marksmen for a two seasons already, I have been in wars, I have been in multiple events, so I think my experience with marksmen will be helpful for you to understand why they are good and how they will be useful in the future, now and how it was useful in the past. First of all, I want to speak regarding uh, the metrics, the advantage system, system which game gives us, it says Marksmen are countering uh, mages, mages are countering infantry, infantry counters uh, cavalry, and cavalry counters marksmen. Well, this is a system which this game gives us, but in my opinion, uh, during war, of course, marksmen counters uh, mages, but regarding cavalry, uh, if you have not been on a mass fight where there is like 100 people around and there is a lot of uh, legions around and not a lot of space in order for cavalry to march on you, they can't kill you. Like, even if they are coming forward, they will die, even from the counterattack, uh, even from the range. Well, uh, I understand that uh, marksman doesn't have a long range, right? It's a medium range, which is kind of weird. Mages have the highest range in the game. But actually, marksman has a better thing, which is counterattack. Like even if infantry is hitting you, you can do a lot of damage. You are just demolishing mages. And regarding cavalry, like you don't need to worry about cavalry because they are not that strong in the game. Uh, if like most importantly in a war situations where there is like hundred people versus hundred people, cavalry is kind of useless. So if we trust to the unit advantage system and it says cavalry is countering marksmen and in real life situation cavalry can't do anything in the war situations it means that marksmen is pretty pretty powerful uh, type of units in the game uh, i will speak regarding how many how many things mar marksmen can do in the uh, uh, in another section of this video but uh, I'm sure you understand. Like marksmen are killing mages, even though mages are has a more uh, range. Uh, marksmen has a counter attack, and in a moment when marksmen will be able to attack mages, they will kill mages for sure. And like if you see mages in the battlefield, try to attack them, you're gonna demolish them. Okay, I'm talking about like even heroes, even amount of legion and all this stuff, right? Even skills, like, you can kill uh, mages easily. Also, how marksmen can be useful in the game. Like, even not mages, not even infantry, not even cavalry, marksmen are one of the best behemoth killers in the game. Because uh, they have a auto-attack damage, and they also have a skill damage, and they also have a good range in order for you to escape some of the behemoth skills which are powerful and which are killing mages or even cavalry, right? Remember, like, if you are doing any kind of behemoth in this game, 90% chance is that you're gonna use your marksman. That's another reason why I think marksman is one of the most important and most powerful unit type in the game. Uh, we already touched regarding uh, like unit advantage system, we already spoke regarding behemoths, why behemoths, uh, why marksmen are good on the marksmen are good on the behemoths. I'm not gonna speak regarding every faction uh, plus and minus regarding archers or marksmen, like as you know, like uh, spring orders are getting. <clears throat> uh, Physical damage from distance, that's normal, this is a, a exclusive stuff for Spring Wardens, reducing March speed, which can be good, good, right? Like, additional stuff is never bad, It's it can only give you something additionally good. 
Uh, let's continue regarding uh, heroes because let's see most variety variety regarding marksmen. Let's start from the bottom, right? Let's speak regarding uh, epic heroes. And first of all, everybody will think regarding Gwenwin. Gwenwin is one of the best epic heroes in my opinion. And till this day, I'm still using Gwenwin on Behemoth because of her awakening skill. It's like a poison attack, which is ticking. And if the enemy unit has much, has a big amount of HP, your ticking poison is dealing a lot of damage. So let's say uh, we are starting from the bottom and first pair which I will suggest everybody if you are free to play especially is a Gwenwin with Craig. Craig is also marksman and Craig is known by having a lot of damage factor and a lot of skill damage. Gwenwin and Craig for epic peer is a pretty good pair. It's good because Gwenwing has a peacekeeping, it will be easy for you to level up your heroes. Gwenwing can be useful for a, every behemoth battle, even if you have a legendary one. Trust me, people till this day, I'm on a season 2, are using Gwenwing on a behemoth. Uh, Gwenwing and Craig is a good combo. Uh, but it's for early game, okay? And if you are a free-to-play player, your early game is going uh, slower and slower because you don't have enough like resources to upgrade your heroes. So first pair, first epic pair is Gwenwin with Craig. Uh, we don't have any more epic heroes in the marksman type. Uh, Gwenwin is a Spring Warden hero and Craig is Orcs. I don't remember the name. Regarding uh, legendary heroes, like my favorite, which I'm currently using, is Nico and Kinara. And I'm trying my best as a free to play player to have an awakening on my Kinara, but it's pretty hard, as you already know. Why Nico and Kinara is a great pair? First of all, uh, Nico is giving a <clears throat> defense break on the first skill and also, if I'm not mistaken, on the awakening skill too. And Kinara is giving a defense break uh, on the awakening skill. So what this hero pair gives us? This hero pair gives us these skill factors which, are, which is pretty good, 104. And here is same and this pair is giving a lot of defense breaks, this pair has a lot of damage from their skill and this pair has a good amount of counter attack just because of the skill, uh, of the Skinara skill which is giving a 30% counter attack damage bonus, right? So this pair is all about defense break, like you are mitigating enemy's defense and you are like if you if you want to understand them on a normal words, all your damage is pure damage. There is like you are mitigating their armor, you are mitigating their health, and that's why, in my opinion, till this day, this is one of the best uh, legendary pairs in the game, especially after Snow Peak Rock arrived, and Snow Peak Rock is giving us even more um, uh, defense break, uh, and this is like perfect pair and also if you're gonna go to with the rattle spear with this build rattle spear is great again more defense break well uh when the season two started new hero new marksman legendary pair appear which is currently like for people who are spending a lot of money because trust me if you are free to play like me it will be really really hard for you to have a many legendary heroes on it at least four star let's speak about stars right even to have a like four star hero as a free to play player it takes a lot of resources second and pretty powerful and new legendary marksman peer is Sindrion and Fragar. When these two champions came out, people thought that like it would be good, like Fragar, Kinara, or Sindrion with something else. But Sindrion with Fragar is dealing a lot of damage, even in Behemoth, even in PvP battles, even in mass fights. This build is all about auto attack, like normal attack damage. 
everything like every every spell Syndrion has and every spell Fragor has is boosting uh, normal attack. Like here, normal attack every four seconds, uh, defense penetration, uh, normal attack crit. We're gonna go here, uh, normal attack bonus. Uh, normal attack crit damage bonus as you can see everything in this pair is going to be a normal attack right normal attack try to stand still try to just attack heroes and you will deal a lot of damage uh, regarding heroes that's it we don't have any more marksmen uh, legions or heroes in the game we just have Gwenwin we just have Craig uh, this is good pair for epics second pair is Nico and Kinara and third pair is just came out in season 2 is Sindrion with Fragar. As you can see, my main aim is to have a Nico and Kinara as good as possible. Whenever I'm gonna finish my Kinara, I will, I will mm, switch up to Sindrion or Fragar. Let's see how it will go. But uh, I'm sure you it's, it's pretty simple with heroes, right? We don't have many heroes currently in the game. But uh, what we have, it's pretty simple. Let's continue to the uh, artifacts, right, for uh, marksman units. And let's again start with the epic ones. There's only two choices. One is less good and one is great. Uh, the less good one is a bomb, of bomb flinger, which, which is a marksman epic artifact, like marksman unit attack, legion attack. This is like damage factor artifact with no cooldown, as I remember. Uh, it's just simple damage factor artifact, nothing nothing uh, interesting. Uh, Heart Piercer is a better version of uh, epic uh, artifact because it gives you def defense break. And if you don't have a legendary artifact for her marksman, choose Heart Piercer, you're gonna love it, okay? As you can see, I have it on my 5 star, which because I was using it uh, many many times, it also has a level 4. Regarding uh, legendary one, of course, Shadow Blade is one of the best still. Uh, if you will have Shadow Blades, you can use either on like Epic Hero pairs, even Nico and Kinara, or even the Syndrome and the Fragar. Uh, but there is a couple of artifacts, artifacts which are not shown here. Uh, if you will ask me. Best artifact for Nico and Kinara is Rattle Spear. I don't have Rattle Spear, and I, I will try to show you from here its artifacts. And let's see where is Rattle Spear. This one should be Rattle Spear, 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 but I don't own it, so I can't uh, let you see it. Uh, the this is artifact for Kinara especially, but because Nico should be pr uh, primary hero. You should uh, let Nico wear the Rattle Spear. Rattle Spear is amazing for Nico and Kinara pair, and this should be Gold Crest if I'm not mistaken. And Gold Crest is amazing, or this one. This should be Gold Crest, and Gold Crest is amazing for Syndrion and Fragor. Okay, let's uh, say it one more time. Nico and for Nico and Kinara, Shadow Blades is good, but let's go to the perfection. In a perfect world, Rattle Spear will be best option for this hero pair. Uh, Syndrion and Fragar, the best option will be uh, Gold Crest. Uh, and uh, Gwenwin and Mar and Craig, like any marksman artifact, Shadow Blades, uh, Gold Crest, Rattle Spear, anything can be good here. Uh, well, if you don't have Rattle Spear and Gold Crest, uh, the third option, in my opinion, the best one is uh, Shadow Blades. That's the uh, that's all I want to speak regarding uh, artifacts. We already spoke why uh, marksmen are good and why this system is just because to be written, in my opinion. In real life situation, you don't have a uh, like. If cavalry don't have enough space to kill marksmen. We spoke regarding heroes, we spoke regarding uh, artifacts, uh, and regarding behemoths, I can't show you uh, right now because I'm not killing any behemoths, but if you want to deal a lot of damage on behemoths, go for a Gwenwin, right? 
this is like greatest choice just because of this poison attack. In general, what I think playing uh, with uh, marksman, well, I I never looked back. Uh, I I I generally like playing with marksman. I don't have any complaints. I love the counter attack uh, thing about marksman because when I first joined the game and when I saw the marksman is not the the highest attack through attack range type, I I was pretty confused. Uh, I did not think the mages should have the highest range, but they mitigated by counter-attack. Uh, and this is pretty amazing that Marksman has a counter-attack damage, same as infantry. Regarding pets, uh, which pets can be useful for the Marksman units? Well, in my opinion, the only one which is good for a Marksman Especially for Miko and Kinaroa is Snoopy Croc, because Snoopy Croc has a uh, defense break uh, skills. Uh, it has a good skills uh, in, in terms of you know, like AOE, uh, which will be helpful for a marksman in mass attack. Uh, you will be easily uh, targeted by many people, but counter-attack damage will be helpful for you. You should only always think about your positioning, because if you choose your position rightly with marksman, you will deal a lot of damage, trust me. I have been playing with Roots, Roots of War, I have been a part big, big fights in a Season 1, in a Season 1+. plus. We don't have fights in Season 2, but it will be in the future. If you want to see the fights, you can check the live section of the channel. There is a wars in general. Uh, I'm loving playing with the marksman, and I will, I, I will continue for sure the, it to be my main legion. And I hope also that you liked my personal view regarding marksmen in general, uh, how how you should be playing with them, which kind of heroes you should be using, and all this stuff. Thanks for watching, uh, I will continue making videos regarding this game because I'm having fun. Um, I like the idea of uh, trying to figure out what will be good in the future and how to minimize and maximize the values of the game. And yeah, that's the whole video, thanks for watching. If you have a different view or different opinion regarding this topic, please share. Because I, I like to discuss, I like to understand new stuff from the people. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.